just another regular day at Flywheels Motorcycles doing a favour for a customer. Got a nice email from him so I thought I'd help him out. So today we're just going to be doing a, a regular annual service type deal on a Kawasaki Z. Yeah, sticking some new rubber on there at the same time. So let the bike warm up first. And while she's warming up, we do a few checks, make sure everything's alright, take some notes, check the electrics, listen to the engine, check for any obvious signs that might need some more attention during the service. And once she's all ready, nice and warm, switch her off and uh, put in some of that U-Butte engine flush that we use. Let it run for a few more minutes. This just helps to clean out all the sludge traps and thin out the oil so when we dump it, it comes out nice and fluid. So up she goes. Strap down the front so she's nice and stable. Jack up the back it to the heavens. Out comes the oil. There's that Texas T. And you'll see she's nice and hot because the filter leaves a smoking gun. Nice. So while it's draining, you might just get stuck into the new boots. These axles seem to be a bit stubborn, so Adrian had a hell of a time getting them off. Wiggle and a jiggle, pull the chain out, get the caliper out of the way, and she's free. Over to the, uh, the machine. Remove the air. And pop that bead off the rim. Had to speed everything up because this turned out to be a long, a long video, so bear with me with the uh, the Benny Hill impression. Clamp it onto the, uh, the table there, pick a spot, heave the rubber over, let the machine do the work. Nice and easy. Same for the other side, and away she comes. <coughs> so there was a story with these tyres, and um, the customer was very understanding was actually booked in a week earlier and there was a delay with the delivery. I don't know what happened. It took me a week to get these two tyres. It's ridiculous. COVID's left a massive supply chain disruption and it's just very difficult to get anything these days. So he had to come back and he was very understanding so I thought I'd help him out. Do him a little video. It should be an action shot here when you inflate the tyre. Slow-mo. So in the afternoon the sun shines through those windows behind the tyre machine and it makes it look a bit more dramatic than it is but it's just a quick pop pop but it made a nice effect so I thought I'd uh, show you. Clean down the rim and um, find the heavy spot, it always sinks to the bottom. It looks a bit more dramatic in, slow m in, in sped up mode but it's actually not that quick when we do it in real life. Put a bit of weight on it and it balances it out. And then we can just clean the, the gunk off the new tyre. Try and get it a little bit slippery. And there's some more jiggling and wobbling and holding your tongue right and finding a hole and lining it all up. And she's back in. So before we tighten the axle nut there, we'll just tighten up the chain adjustments here and there, whatever you do on one side you do on the other, it's important to get the wheel straight. And then once you think you've got the right tension you put a laser on the sprocket and it throws a line down the chain just to tell you if you've got it in the right position, she's not crooked, and then you can tighten her all back up. Bit of a safety lock there, 
can't be too safe. Who would want a wheel falling out? Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's pretty hectic. So a bit of a clean up first, new gaskets go on, sump plug goes in, new oil filter spins on. And we go up to our filling station and fill up some of the good stuff. Back over to the bike and she goes straight in. And while we're doing that we can watch the sight glass, see if anything crazy is happening. Once you're satisfied, you can wrap it all up. Dispose of the used stuff responsibly. This stuff gets collected whenever it's full, goes to the recycler. Adrian goes a bit crazy with the chain cleaning here, but he likes to make a point of it. So I thought he was done, so I handed him the chain lube, but he kept going. A few more minutes, can't get him too clean. Goes through a bunch of rags there, as you can see. Inside, outside, upside, downside. Can eat off that chain. And there he goes, starts spraying it with the lube. This stuff comes out white, so the customer can tell that it's been done, and tell when it's worn off. So if you remove the straps from the front, apply to them to the rear, and you can jack up the bike from the middle, and the front comes up. Get the brakes off. This front axle is, again, a bit more stubborn. persuasion there. The old knockometer. And there we go. Second verse, same as the first. Let the, let the machine do all the work. This one wasn't as dramatic, so I didn't even bother. Just gets inflated and balanced. goes, find the hole, story of my life, and here we go on to the hydraulics, get rid of the nasty stuff left in the reservoir, and when you hook it up to the calipers, the ugly stuff comes out, brown, and the fresh stuff goes in clear. This is for the brake fluid, I like to do it once a month, uh, once a year. What you do on the back, you do on the front. Same again. So yeah, brown coming out. Although I've recently switched brands of brake fluid. We went from the clear stuff to the blue stuff. Have had a good response. Customers like seeing a bit of color on their bike. Couldn't really see the fluid in their reservoirs because it was so clear. <laughs> a couple of complaints that we left it empty, but it was actually full of clear stuff. So we went to a blue brake fluid. Okay, what's under here? A little bit of nonsense. There's the service logbook. I'll stamp that later. Check the battery. Static voltage. 12.9, that's pretty solid. Give her a kick in the guts. Rev it up to 2000 RPM and she jumps to 14 and a half. So that's bang on the money. That's in good shape. Battery's good, charging system's good. I'm happy with that. Then we start moving the pivots and cables, levers, pull out the clutch lever, the hand guards came off. We attach our, um, our lubrication device, spray it on the top what happens there comes down the bottom. So you know that that cable is very well lubricated, it's gone all the way through. And don't worry, we'll clean that up later. 
just like you. Hand guard goes back on. Same for the gear shifter. Anywhere there's a pivot, there's always time for lubrication. Foot pegs, side stand, anything that moves, anything that squeaks that shouldn't. Check the coolant, she's halfway up, that's fine, not a problem. And we put our official brand in his book, saying that we've been here. Stick it back where it belongs. And that should do it, I think. Of course, there was a lot of stuff that we didn't include on the video. It was just getting too long for a minor service. No, last but not least, full nut and bolt check. Anything that's metal gets nipped up. Motorbikes suffer from vibration, as you can imagine. Last thing we want is stuff coming loose. Doesn't take long to just go over it with a spanner and an allen key. Okay. So we come, we bring her down, take her outside. Check the brakes. So while Adrian's faffing about, I think I come round warm it up for him just doing a few more checks suspension nice and supple a few little adjustments final inspections checking levels making sure there's nothing out of place Everything's tight, nothing dangling, nothing leaking. Covered up the number plate for privacy reasons. And eventually pulls his finger out and takes it for a all important road test. So what have we got? Nice Ducati Diablo sitting there waiting. Crappy old barn fine Jigsaw Thou track bike. Oh no, 750, my bad. Aprilia Tuono with some issues. A shark Tooth Beamer. It's a 96 V Max. You don't see too many of them anymore. V4 Yamaha Cruiser. Carbureted. MT09 Sport Tracker. Emperor Smash Repair. And yeah. Believe it or not, CB, X, count them, six cylinders. There's my baby, the Blackbird. Focus. And a pretty decent example of an Aprilia Dorsa Duro, the White Knight. Now over here we've got a, a Ducati cylinder. You can see the two new valves still gone in there. This poor guy, I'm just assuming the uh, Desmos at the moment. This poor guy came in for a service, went out with a top end rebuild, had a hole in his piston, a couple of bent valves. Sorry I didn't get a film of this one, but I just ran out of time. This customer needed his bike to go back to Phillip Island, so I had to do a rush job. Didn't have a chance to do it with a camera. Now there's an engine over the floor over there. What's on my bench? So that's the K9 Jigsa Thou. <coughs> came in with low compression uh, about 30 psi on one cylinder 60 psi on the other 110 on another one and it was just burnt valves so cut all the seats cut all the faces shim it all up again and I was pretty happy with that one then it went out with uh, 160 psi on the dot on all four cylinders so that was a good result and it had the the old Suzuki pitted camshafts as well, so we got them reground. So that was a good, uh, a good little job there. Okay, he's back. Now his favourite part of the uh, the session here. Yeah, there goes the Diavel. So this customer sent me an email 
uh, saying, hey, look, I saw the vid that you did on G6 1400 service, love your work, and my little Z needs some attention too, so book me in, so, yeah, it's a good result. Oh, look at my succulents. Beautiful. That's a good result from this new tube business, I might keep it up, see how it goes. Takes a bit of time, and my camera works pretty shitty, but, so, yeah, so, well, thanks for those kind comments, and uh, if I get time, I'll, I'll have a crack for one of yours as well. Turned out to be a pretty decent experience, I think. It's a beautiful little bike. Nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing like putting a fresh set of boots on a bike, so... Yeah. Good little service. Some new tyres. Good little wash. Everyone's happy. Bike goes better for it. And that's us. sort out the uh, the tire delivery situation so he doesn't have to come back twice for this one little job. So yeah, I think there'll be more of these in the future, but I want to focus on some of the other the better custom jobs. But for now, that's been us. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. Peace.